Greetings, my name is Lacerta, and I'm not human like you, and, to be completely honest, I am not a mammal despite my partially mammalian-like features of my body organs, which are the result of some sort of evolution. I am a female reptile, belonging to a very old race of reptiles. Saurians. We are natural earthlings and we have lived on this planet for millions of years. We are mentioned in your religious texts like your Christian Bible, and some of the ancient human races knew our presence and some worshipped us. For example, the Egyptians and Incas and many other old tribes. Your Christian religion has misinterpreted our role in your creation, so we are referred to as evil snake in the documents of the people. If you ask me that I am an alien, then I must answer, no. We are natural earthlings. We have and have some colonies in the solar system, but we come from this planet. You can ask me my real name proper. It is difficult to pronounce in your language. We measure time differently than you do in astronomical years, and formed from the revolutions of the Earth around the Sun, because we usually live below the surface of the planet. If you apply to me the scale of your reckoning of time, I am about 28 years old. My task on Earth is to put it in your words. I am a student of social behavior of your species. For myself, I will observe how you react how other individuals of your species react. There are so many crazy people and liars of your kind on this planet who claim to know the truth about us, about those phenomena, that you name UFOs, about aliens and so on, and some of you believe their lies. This is unpleasant even for us, they are scoundrels from our point of view. I am very interested to personally see how your species reacts, if you see the truth, which I will now tell you publicly. I am very sure that each of you will refuse to believe my words, but I hope that you must understand how you will survive the next years. I will tell you briefly about UFOs in your sky. A grey and cigar-shaped cylindrical object with lights at a height of 200 meters of yours. If this object made a very deep buzzing sound, if there were five bright red lights on the metal surface of the cigar, one at the top, one in the middle, two at the end, then it is likely that one of you saw one of our ships. Do you ask if we have a special identification symbol with which you can identify our species? We have two main symbols representing our species. One, more ancient, symbol is a blue snake with four white wings on a black background. The colors have religious meanings for us. This symbol was used by some members of my society before, but today it is used very rarely. People copied it very often in your ancient manuscripts, left, so it would be more correct to depict five stars. And we live in large and developed cities and colonies inside caves. The main areas of our caves are Antarctica, Inner Asia, North America and Australia. When I talk about artificial sunlight in our cities, I do not mean the real sun, but various technological light sources, including gravity sources, that illuminates caves and tunnels. If you see a wall with a door, made of grey metal, somewhere in a cave with ventilation systems and elevators in the depth, then this is probably the entrance to our world. If you have entered a circular room, then you must look for one of two reptilian symbols on the walls. If there are no symbols or there are other symbols, then you are probably in even more trouble than you think, because not every underground structure belongs to our species. Some new tunnel systems are used by alien races, including hostile races. My general advice, if you find yourself in a strange underground structure for you, run as fast as you can. I think we are the most mentioned non-human species in your history. Some of the reptilians are in direct contact with human scientists and politicians on the surface, but this is top secret, since the issue of these meetings is the upcoming war with the alien species and our help in this war. But there is also another explanation, why we may be among you, and you are not able to recognize us. This is mimicry, we are capable of using telepathy and telekinesis from our birth. You can develop telepathy and telekinesis by activating the sleeping parts of your brain. When we are on the surface and meet people, even a large group, it doesn't really matter, or your minds are like one consciousness, we are able to tell you that we are like normal people. I have done this many times and with the you, weak people generally see me as an attractive brunette woman, because I created this special image of mimicry several periods of time ago, and I can instill this in your minds without any problem.
I needed some time at the beginning to learn how to use mimicry correctly, but then it worked almost automatically. I can even walk among your group of people and no one will know who I am. We are not your enemies. I use my primary abilities for mimicry and for communication with my own species and sometimes for other private things, but I have never used this to harm people or their consciousness. Now about your Elohim, those who created the human race came from this universe, from the system you call all dead Libran on your maps. They were of a very highly evolved humanoid species, usually they had very light blonde hair, and they very white skin, they avoided sunlight, because it damaged their skin and their eyes which was absolutely incredible for us sun lovers, they seemed to be intelligent and peaceful at the beginning and we started to maintain more or less friendly relations with them. But later they showed their real intentions and plans, they wanted to develop monkeys of a new breed, and we were alarmed by their plans, to create their new planet of the menagerie. First, they caught 20,000 of your ancestors, and were absent on the planet for some hundred years. When they returned, they brought, now more, your ancestors back. After that, they again left the earth for several thousand years, and the primitive ancestors L people lived with us without any problems, they were only afraid of our ships and technology. The Elohim had access to their consciousness and enlarged their brains, changed their body structure and they were now able to use tools and fire. They flew in, over a period of seven times in 30,000 years, and accelerated their speed development of some individuals of your species. It is also true, that your modern human civilization is not the first on this planet Earth, but already the seventh. The fifth civilization was the one, that built large triangular structures. You call them Egyptian pyramids. About 75,000 years ago, your Egyptians only found them in the sand and tried, not very successfully, to build similar ones, and the sixth civilization was the one that built cities that you consider destroyed. The last creation of the seventh civilization of your line was begun only 9,000 years ago, 